30 Mario Maker 2 things to do when you're bored. Mario Maker 2 has been out for over a year, and for some of you, it might be feeling a little bit stale. Today, I'm gonna show you 30 things that you can do to have fun and change things up. Let's get started. If you're looking to add some challenge to your gameplay, we can use the new switch function to remap our buttons on our controller. I challenge you to unmap your run button and see if you can still beat levels. Look at this speed run, it's just hilarious looking. Also, I kind of forgot that run and pick up items were the same button when I was recording this. Turns out that button's pretty important. Good luck! Maybe you're tired of seeing the same colors over and over again. Well, this next one, we can go into the settings again, but this time, go down to colors and invert the colors. If you're looking for some wacky, psychedelic Mario Maker 2 action, look no further. This will definitely change up the way that you play because it takes a few seconds to reorient yourself to what you're seeing on screen. It's a lot of fun and kind of crazy, so give this one a shot. This next one I like to call Hunt the Gouda. In Mario Maker 2, we use the term cheese a lot, which just means to kind of cheat your way through a level in a way that the creator didn't intend you to do it. In Endless Easy and Endless Normal, you'll find this everywhere. You can jump across giant gaps to skip over a subworld and not have to do it at all, or you can run across the top of semi-solids to just skip through half the course. Try to see how much cheese you can find in each level. Ninja speedrun events only last for about 7 days, but did you know that you can go back and replay them at any point? You can see everybody's times and the threshold for bronze, silver, and gold. You can also see your friends' times and try to compete against them to be number one. Completing Ninja speedruns is one of the many ways to get outfits in Mario Maker 2. Try to push yourself to get every single outfit in the game. There are many spreadsheets and websites out there that will tell you exactly how to unlock each piece of clothing, and the difficulty ranges from super easy to very difficult, perfect for you completionists out there. If you're like me, you played through story mode and refused to take Luigi's help when he offered it to you. You know, it's actually really fun to do ridiculous things with Luigi's assist parts. Try to see how much mischief and mayhem you can cause while playing through Nintendo's story mode and trying to break it with your own parts. Challenge yourself by playing an endless easy run, but whenever you touch a coin, you have to reset your run back to zero levels cleared. You're not allowed to finish the level unless you have zero coins collected on the counter at the top left. This is actually way harder than you would expect because you never know which question blocks have coins inside. Many levels also use coins as indicators to show the pathway forward or decorations near obstacles. Look at this deadly obstacle just spewing deliciously tempting but poisonous coins. All right, coins are too delicious to pass up like that last idea. In this one, we can play endless normal, but if you die, you have to skip the level. That means you can only clear levels that you beat on your first try. Not being able to die at all makes you play way safer and it makes enemies a lot scarier. Power-ups now become way more valuable, but checkpoints are now completely worthless. Give it a shot. Test your glitch and mechanical knowledge by finding Uno Mas levels and completing them. To do this, just go to the courses and then detailed search. Search for the technical tag only and look for the words Uno Mas in the title. Then see some funny and weird things that you had no idea were possible in this game. Put your maker skills to the test and try to recreate items that weren't added into Mario Maker 2. We can recreate our favorite classic enemies, or recreate a cool boss fight. Try to see how close you can get with the elements we do have, and keep track of how many you can recreate. While you're in that course editor, try to mess around with the easter eggs that are hidden inside the game. You can see Mario in his final form, and you can see callbacks to previous Mario games. If you feel like you're getting maker's block, Check out a level ideas generator. Challenge yourself to build a course with the first ideas that it gives you. Sometimes being limited by certain criteria can actually help you be more creative, and you can come up with ideas that you normally wouldn't even think of. 
To find a generator, just Google Mario Maker Ideas Generator. Activate Hero Mode. Play through Endless on any difficulty without picking up any power-ups or taking any checkpoints. See how many courses you can beat with no help. If you find a level that requires the power-up, you can just skip it and move ahead. This makes sure you can't skip through any challenges or damage boost through any obstacles and is super satisfying to pull off. Feeling a bit evil? Destroy your enemies in multiplayer versus. Join a match and see how many foes you can defeat. Try to snipe them with shells or push them into enemies. Bonus points if you can throw them into a pit. We all like to listen to music, but have you tried making your own music level? It's not as difficult as it might seem. I know it's overwhelming, but you can actually use a MIDI file and make the whole thing without knowing anything about music. Check the card above for a video tutorial that I put together on this topic. Now that the 3.0 update has been out for some time, there's an abundance of really well-made super worlds out there for you to play. I recommend going into the popular tab and finding a creator of a course that you really like, clicking on their profile, and then checking out if they've made a super world or not. Chances are, that's going to be a super fun one to play. Getting world records feels great, but can you get all of the world records on a single creator's courses? Go into their profile, check out their uploaded courses tab, and see how many you can get. Try to get them as quickly as you can though, because other players will get notified when their world records are stolen by you. It's time to embrace your inner artist. When you play through a course that you really like, take a second to stop and comment on the course. Draw your best piece of artwork to show off your artist's skills or lack thereof. Bonus points if you have to use your joystick like I did to make this masterpiece. This is clearly Mario enjoying a cool treat. There's nothing more frustrating for a creator than to put all this time in and have nobody play your course. So we're gonna go for first clears. There are a few ways to find these, but my favorite way is to go to the new tab, but don't play the level that you see there. It's already going to be played before you have a chance to do it. Instead, click on the maker of the new course and go through their uploaded courses list. Find an older one that has zero clears on it and play that one instead. Because it's an older course, it's much less likely that somebody's going to steal the first clear from you. Get yourself out of the box as a creator by recreating your favorite video games. In this level, I recreated a daily challenge that's given out in Rayman Legends. This was a great project to push myself as a creator to see what the limits were in Mario Maker 2 to copy one of my favorite games. Give it a shot. Similar to the last idea, you can actually recreate your favorite movie scenes as well. This level was the first one I made in Mario Maker 2, and it was a combination of Indiana Jones the Movie and Indiana Jones the Ride at Disneyland. Try to see how you can recreate the story and the feeling that that movie scene gives. Do you ever feel bad for the Goombas that you always stomp on? For this challenge, we're going to play Endless Mode, but take a pacifist run. You can't kill a single enemy, and if you do, you have to skip the level before completing it. Platforming your enemies becomes much more difficult, but it's such a rewarding experience to get to the end of the course without hurting a single enemy. Some of my favorite missions in story mode were saving toads and carrying the stone. Because we can't use either of these, the next best thing is to play co-op mode by yourself and carry Luigi through the course. You can throw him and use him as a weapon, but be careful not to let him die. If you do this right, Luigi can win doing absolutely nothing. Speaking of story mode, when's the last time you gave it a play? I myself haven't played through story mode since the game came out a year ago, and it's really cool to go back and see all of the different levels that Nintendo made. If you want to start over without losing your progress, you can start from scratch by making a new user on your Switch. If you want a more realistic challenge during your endless runs, Try to use each character only once until they die, and then switch. Just pause during the death animation to switch to the next character. This makes it so that you only have four lives for your entire endless run. Some of the most fun that I've had in Mario Maker 2 revolves around making contraptions in the course editor. 
You can make a contraption where you can't look a certain way, or even a contraption that changes an on-off switch every time you jump. The possibilities are endless for awesome course design here. Mario Maker 2 is so much more fun to play when you can share the experience with somebody else. I recommend that you play some online co-op levels. I've got a link to a spreadsheet that has some level codes in the description that are designed specifically for co-op. If you need somebody to play with, feel free to join our Discord, link to that in the description as well. As creators, sometimes we get stuck doing the same things in our levels. Send your best level to a streamer for feedback. Sometimes watching someone else play your level for the first time can let you see it differently. Many streamers will tell you what they like and didn't like and give you suggestions on what you could improve. This will spark creativity and make your level even better. By the way, if you want honest and constructive feedback, I stream on Twitch three days a week and would love to help you out. Check out the link in the description below. Ever play the game The Floor is Lava as a kid? Well, now's your chance to do it in Mario Maker. Go through an endless challenge and try your best not to touch any ground. Practice your parkour skills on blocks and pipes. Wait for enemies to be in optimal position to bounce on them and move forward without touching the ground. This self-challenge turns every course into a don't touch the ground clear condition course. Many of us have put together a super world, but I challenge you to make a themed world. The world I'm showing off right here is all based around a pirate theme. You could do something like that, or you could make a whole world based off of a single power-up. If you need level ideas to help inspire you, click on the video on the screen right now. For more Mario Maker 2 inspiration, subscribe and click that bell. I'm Aristotle, and thanks for watching.